Hello everybody, it's Lasha on November the 5th of 2024. It's election night. For those of you that have never been to <laughs> high voltage before, you have to call a channel something. And I tried a lot of different um, uh, titles, you know. My name is Lasha Royenko, but the only way to really <laughs> remember it is think of, ready kids? The consonant R, the vowel O, the consonant J, the vowel E, the consonant N, the consonant K, and the vowel O. In short, just R, O, and think of the word jerk, J-E-R-K, with another O at the end. Just change the R to an N, so it's Ro, Jank, O, not Ro, Jerk, O, and then you'll be able to find high voltage, but I haven't finished painting it on the closet. So I'm trying to figure out what to do on top of, okay, I'm trying to put together the YouTube studio. Don't look at, I'm working, I'm working on the lighting. It's just like sometimes it's the Blair Witch Project. Sometimes it's okay. It, sometimes like this is the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> Lighting is so important, like CEO of a diary, Andrew Gold, Sean Atwood, um, who else has a really good studio? Now, high voltage, why did I call it that? It was, it's a long story. Can you tell that it says high voltage? Because I was also thinking about perhaps doing this orange because I wanted to get an orange leather couch. Now, this channel that you're gonna, this is the truth, my mother colored that. Oh, and what do we do on high voltage? Well, okay, so I have to explain this every video that I do because everybody does it. Even Brittany at the Royal News Network says the same thing all the time and I just slide through it. Emma says the same thing all the time, but I never slide through it because she gets people to send in videos because when you look at her older videos, though they're not old, but when you look at the ones past because the news cycles are so quickly, she puts, Emma from TNT probably puts up three or four videos a week. I think Brittany does it seven days a week for real. Um, um, both channels equally fantastic. Um, yeah, and people are attracted to shiny things. So yeah, I've been doing this for a year and a half. The channel is at 639 people. Now, I honestly get a little offended when people say straight up, my goal is to reach X number of subscribers. But it's a capitalistic world. So what's wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, and, and you know, I've actually said stupid things. Like, I am really good. I used to be a regional supervisor at Jenny Craig in Western Vancouver. And I was looking through old pictures. And I'm learning to use cap cut. So what I want you to do, if you want, if this video has kept any of your attention, watch the video, right? Decide if it's the content for you and then subscribe because to me, 
when you subscribe to a channel, it's kind of an investment in your time, right? But it depends how much time you have. It depends how much... Everybody's different. But if you, to find out about what I do, I have dancing up. I'm, I'm not a professional dancer, never was. Uh, I always worked behind a desk. I worked at Lake Louise. I've worked in home care. I've gone to school, owned two houses, 53 years old. And I am trying to build something because of the uh, intent origin and goal or actually be the orange and oh, the orange it's the orange it's the orange it's the orange no really i wanted to do something on youtube that was fun and i think i thought that i was a little more talented than i was <laughs> it's the truth but the reason i'm so proud of some really terrible footage is because I lost seven years of my life. I might as well have been in a coma, but yet at the same time, that's not true because in some ways, this is like a Thomas Harvey, Thomas Harvey, Thomas Hardy novel. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, but it's really true. And I don't consider myself a survivor or a victim. It's just something that happened that you either have to get through, get over, or spend your life climbing out. I'm still climbing out. It's been seven years. The doctor, well, he broke my, listen, you have to go, I was in a wheelchair for a year. I'll just leave it there. Something happened that shouldn't have happened. I, I put dancing up because I can't even believe I can move like that. I never moved like that when I was 40 and I know that some people don't like the way I dance. I like the dances that the kids do on the TikTok and they go something about, it's my hip, it's my hip, my hip, my hip. And these girls like really know how to swing their hips and then they do this dip and dip and swing. I don't know how they do it. But my dancing, my husband used to say I dance like a fairy. It's my style, right? So whatever. So I did this YouTube channel to heal from a trauma. And I was looking at my footage and thinking, wow, everybody's going to think you're a narcissist. But I'm not. I was an only child, that's for sure. Anyways, I wanted to tell you something funny. That's enough about me. So what type of content am I going to start presenting? Well, Trevor is a, a younger gent on a channel called Trevor's Life and Legos. And this channel, High Voltage, which you'll never find unless you ask, look for, where did I write it down? Where did I, I put my name somewhere and I had to write it backwards, but I couldn't remember the words. My like, never mind. You know how when you have, have you ever heard that like a spell water backwards, right? I find that very difficult, but that's for another reason. I've been through a lot of. And, and and you know how people think they're Jesus and they're not? That's not what I'm talking about. But I, I'm, I've I'm i been doing my timeline of, of life. I think everybody should do a YouTube channel, even if nobody watches it, so that you have it as a record. And, and, and then I was thinking, why do I want to share all of this, right? What am I trying to accomplish? That's why, and yeah, I know 
People like shiny, happy people. I know I will get there. That's the whole point. But you need to go to change.org. You have to go to the origin, intent, and goal of the channel. And I watched it today and I almost fell asleep. Like for real. So I have to go back and do the origin, intent, and goal. Okay, so this is what we're working on in this channel. And I've been talking about it for about five days. But I'm really doing it because I'm, this, I'm serious. I work at a kitchen on call part-time. I love it. But let's face it, I'm 53. I, I was injured by a surgeon. I know, Sarah, this is the 15th video I've put out, but I really do have real content coming out. I was injured by a surgeon, and I broke my femur, but I've gained seven pounds this week, this summer, which is great. But see that hole there? That's from a femur break. So my leg was straight out for a year, right? And you know what? I lost muscle. I lost, and I gained weight. And when you're in your 50s, it's difficult to turn um, new weight into muscle. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to be shy about it because we all have cellulite. And what I realized, what that doctor did, he didn't say anything. So it's not like I missed, got a bad haircut and needed a refund. This was a hospital cover-up in Ontario, Canada. It was disgusting. I've done research upon research to find out. Have they heard of anything like this? Where is that nail? Basically, what the doctor did is if you go to change.org, there's a picture of my knee and there's pictures of my knees on the short and they're not popular. People don't really look at them, but there's a petition on change.org that if a surgeon doesn't keep his or her oath or a doctor and they don't disclose, they made an error and they look to your right into your eyes and lie to you and look at you to see if if you're buying it. When you have a broken femur and you have two nails sticking out of your knee but you don't know till six months later because the swelling didn't go down, it's a serious, serious situation. And it was so serious, in fact, if I hadn't had my dog I don't think I would be here. So you'll have to go to the Sophie playlist and Sophie's live and well and with me. And I feel like the most, I feel blessed. I have learned, but I've changed. My uh, mood temperament changes. It, it's, it, it's almost like the healthcare system made me sick. So... With that being said, and all of you know this all about me who watch me, those of you who don't know me, I've made a decision. I am fresh homeopathic from now on. I want to see the physical and not just the physical, but more the clarity in mind because I want my channel, our community, this real charity to be something not just my lips flapping away so it's election night tonight it's tuesday november the 5th of 2024 um and i really wanted to give my opinion so i would like to take a moment to write some things down because one of the things that those of you that know me, I 
do everything and pro everything, all of my content, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, is all impromptu. I'm a novice dancer and I dance because I'm so proud that I can, because I fought to walk again. I never thought I would walk again because my knee wouldn't bend. The surgeon who performed this and put the new hole in the knee, and there's one on this side as well, but it's covered up by this right here. It's covered up by this. But anyways, you know what? I'm just so proud at my age. It's funny, if you go on, I, what I was going to do is put a picture of 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. That's seven years. That's a long time. And I honestly feel Sarah and Melody Moon and Trevor and Random Citizen and Jeff and Jason and Eric. Hello, Eric Andrews and Saucy and Care Give Out and... I admit, did I say Melody Moon? Did I say Random Citizen? Did I say T-Bone and T-Bird? Who am I missing? I know I'm missing Jeff. Um, uh, pajamas, Toxy Roxy, where did you go? And I write everybody's names here too. So my videos are very random. It's a very raw studio. I'm still trying to figure out my niche and I've been doing this for a year and a half. And Trevor and I were laughing because a lot of people's goals are subscribers, right? I, I want to obviously reach the monetization level, but not because I want to get rich and famous. No, 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 no. This doctor has hurt a lot of people. You know, when you go to the food banks, people that work three jobs go to food banks. In Toronto, it's the worst it's ever been. And so why am I so, I'm not a do-gooder, I'm not a saint. And I don't feel like a victim or a survivor. It's, it, it's, it's life, it's something that happened. It wasn't right. He should be in jail for a year for the suffering I went through. Money will never do anything to fix this, but what could be changed in Ontario and the legislation, and this was my original serious point, is it's the tax dollars that paid for this cover-up. It was your tax dollars that, because of his lies and the ripple effect, I was living in Barrie and had to go to the general hospital, and if you're familiar with that area, it was almost... I would say six, to be fair, six, on average, six times a month for two years, Barry, Hamilton, Hamilton, Barry, twice a month for x-rays after the corrective surgery. So I was in the wheelchair from October the 28th of 2017 to July the 15th of 2018. I asked for one other opinion besides I can't say his name, MK. And it was the in Barry at the Royal Victoria Hospital. You know, I wanted to leave a message at his <clears throat> his office and ask him to look at the petition. However, I have to go into that petition and edit it because when I put it out November the 28th, I was in a lot of rage. But you know who I took it out on? Me. But the ripple effect that his decision not to say anything until I just left He never even did a follow-up call. 
And I remember, and I was so vulnerable and so scared. And I remember phoning my doctor. And if I hadn't had, I remember telling this doctor, if I hadn't have had you through this, I wouldn't have made it. And I am not saying that for any frickin' sympathy, empathy, nothing. We have choices to make. And we have to plan ahead. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I know I go from subject to subject, but that's why Meghan Markle and Prince Harry make me so damn angry. Because she uses the race card. She's used the... Um, the... And that is so offensive to people that have really gone through trauma, real trauma. And I mean, that's not just one of the weird things that I've gone through. So that's why I said you need to sort of look through people's footage. And I, I always listen to uh, people's goals and so on. So my goal, obviously, I want to monetize. The way I understand it is, is uh, it's three dollars per thousand views or something of that nature. And I thought, well, what am I good at? What can I do? I thought, will the story be enough? What about working my strength? Because in the summer, I was determined to do a walk of oath at that time. But then I thought. The only person I'm going to hurt is myself. For what happened, the condition I'm in is amazing, but I used to be 20 pounds heavier. That's not amazing. I slouch all the time now. So this, this channel helped me grow, yes, but I wanted to change the legislation in Ontario. So if a surgeon makes the mistake and doesn't say anything which is fraud and a violation of the doctor's oath to do no harm to the patient and i have more i'm going to read on that in this content that there should be a financial plan that the surgeon's insurance company pays for the needs of that patient and that will also eliminate mistakes and surgeries because it will keep doctors more accountable. They need more sleep. He can't see a hundred people in a day and he didn't do it on purpose, but he didn't say anything. So there was no follow through. And that's the one thing that I've been holding back on. And I, it just, the subconscious thought came to consciousness and I've been holding myself back because he made me feel less than human because nobody, like that movie, um, the malt, oh gosh, I, I don't want to sound ignorant and pronounce it incorrectly, but Jodie Foster played a lawyer and it was about a man guilty by association, which kept him in Guantanamo Bay for almost 17 years of his life. And he was absolutely innocent and he had to take two lie detector tests. Here's so my question about Mary, or sorry, Harry and Meghan. Why did Linda, L oh, Phil Donahue passed away today, by the way. Why did Linda Lovelace have to take a lie detector test to prove that she was in an abusive relationship with truck Chuck Trainer? But why is it when documentaries go out, we have to go fact check everything? I think before things of that nature are made, documentaries especially, 
And I know lie detectors don't stand up in the court of law, but why would they make an X something star take a lie detector test, but you know, Paul Burrow had Diana's stuff and was sure that he had to reveal secrets, but the queen stepped in and of course he was off. It was that, uh, for the goodness of, of the monarchy, or was that out of the goodness of the queen's heart for Paul Burrow? I guess what I'm questioning too is just the whole facade with Meghan Markle, the uh, sad situation about the two children, because they are two children that were used at some point and they have parents and, and one day, they will watch all of this footage about Invisibet, and, and I don't like those names, but I refuse to call the girl the Queen's pet name because the Queen said, and I've said this in many videos, her name was the only real thing she owned, and her legacy and what people thought of her obviously meant so much. She kept the mystique, and Meghan Markle has shared too much. And what she shared is all lies. I don't believe her. I, and I always end off with this. And I know it's the election tonight and I am going to talk about it. And I was very disappointed about one channel. This channel is a very, very popular channel. And I participate in a, a certain bubble. And... There's a certain podcaster that I didn't receive uh, money back from, which I just think is terrible. And it was for a mug of the queen. And if you don't believe me, you know, come with me. I'll show you. I'm trying to turn my studio into something. And I have been reading Ask Not, The Psychology of Secrets. I tried to read the Testaments. And the reason reading is so important to me I'll get to that. I'm not ready to share all of myself yet. Um, I was wearing it today. It was a Queen's um, red sweatshirt that I got from this channel. And it's really cute, actually. Oh, here it is. Is this it? Here it is. I got it from a, a certain channel. And it was really cute. And I bought it for my mother for... Um, uh, Christmas, right? And I loved it. And there's pictures of my mom dancing in it and stuff. And I got the mug that had the queen and the teddy bear on it, but I never received it. And I've tried hell and high water to get a hold of the YouTuber. And what blows my mind is the other, I'm going to, oh, people are going to think I'm horrible to say this, but I'm not. Even other, I, 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 I have because I've built, not I, myself, we in this little community have built like such a nice rapport. We can all talk without getting angry at each other. There's no need for it. And I've expressed this about this, this particular, I even told you to, but they don't, nobody cares. And it just goes to show how people do stay in their own bubbles, in their own um, areas. And I know I get off track. I have, I, and, and it's because of, of getting into a routine again. But I was just going to say, this one podcast I was so disappointed in because it was about the, uh, 20, about the 2024 election. And I think that people, I was watching True Detective last night with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. And I've always been a movie buff. You know, when I was a teenager, I wanted to be a singer, a dancer, and an actress, of course. Um, a lot of only children do, I'm sure. Um, but I was watching uh, True Detective and I was watching Matthew McConaughey and Woody Allen and, and their, their uh, performances are, are just sublime. And there's a lot of secrets in it, which 
I then started reading this book here, Andrew Gold's Psychology of Secrets, and I also Ask Not by Maureen Callahan, and they're very important books. And I know that other channels have read them and are finished. But that is what I want to do because I need to increase my brain power. I think my brain was on um, autopilot the last seven years. I was surviving. And I'm not... When I say surviving, I'm talking, I'm not talking about Meghan Markle surviving and thriving because I don't even know what that means. I'm talking about you can't throw somebody who needs physiotherapy a bed. Um, you know, there's a reason that led me up to living with my mom that was horrible. But everybody goes through horrible stuff. So I guess what I'm saying is we're all damaged some way. And, but I've never been more curious and happy and excited to, to bring some good content and, and to dig in like other YouTubers do. Really dig into subjects that I'm interested in, that I'm passionate about, to make this channel grow. But I want to maintain rapport with people that subscribe. And that's why I always say, you know, to me, it's not about reaching X number of people. That's To me, that's like what Denzel Washington says, you know? And I'm not saying this. Everybody has a right to make a living. And I watch more YouTube than anybody that I should. Google, Google could probably pay me for the time that I've watched YouTube over the last seven years. And I am not joking. I can't sleep at night. I used to listen to Cheer Denise and her storytelling and her book reading was so excellent. And then, you know, there's another book reader that's fantastic, Andrew Gold, you know. Um, where are those? Uh, I told, already told you that I'm reading the book. But, you know, I, for the thumbnails and so on, you've got the... The Handmaid's Tale. And the one book that I really should have kept up on, and I'm, I am going to start it over again in a brand new way, is The Exorcism of Emily Rose. That's a fascinating story. Because if people believe in God, then you have to believe in the devil. And there is a force of good and evil going on in this world. And, and I am not being corny in any way. But last night... I was praying to my ancestors to help me. And it's okay to need help. And I am not a rich woman. And the reason that I want to share, because at the food banks, people have to buy the food to get it to the food banks. Do you think that, um, you know, when these huge companies give people $10,000, I think it's a joke. I, I just can't believe the way people are with money. Not sharing when they have something. But I used to give so much away, it was a detriment to myself. That self-sabotaging yourself because you don't like yourself. So what I'm trying to say is, all of you who have supported and watched through my craziness over the last year and a half have filled me up. I've learned from all of you. Thank you for the lovely comments and the kindnesses and the friendships that have been made on this channel. And I have to give a special thanks to Eric Andrews. Okay? And uh, it's for reasons that are confidential. And uh, Sarah, Melody Moon, Trevor, Random Citizen, T-Bone, and uh, Saucy Knot, and Saucy, for real, and Toxy Roxy in pajamas, okay? And I know when I first started the channel, there were, were Judith and Heather were trying to give me a chance I was reading, but I was reading like I was two years old. So I have work to do. I just wanted to put this, here's my Sophie. 
She came to see me again. There's everybody. That's Sophie. We thought that she was really, really sick, guys, and she's not. Come here, Bobbins. Come to your bed. Come to your bed. There you go. Yeah. I don't know if all of you know this, but um, my mom and I really, we thought Sophie was really, really sick. And she's not. She's going to be fine. She's going to be absolutely fine. So for those of you that know me, you know the way I am. But I really am going to try to change that and conform to what people watch. You know, I was just hoping, I don't know, everybody hopes that they're different or special. We all do. But, you know, I really have to hand it to Andrew Gold, Sean Atwood, and Stephen, and Eric Weinstein, and uh, the uh, Smokey Brothers, and Swoop, and Rotten Mangoes. They have millions of people, and Joe Rogan is a little different, but I, um, yeah, I'll be, I'll, I'll talk about my political standings tomorrow. Sophie's playing, that's good. That's good that she's playing again. Okay, so that's me, that's Lasha, that's my video for tonight, and tomorrow I'm going to get serious, because I would, I, I've been out of really, kind of in and out of commission over the last couple of months. It's been stressful, and sometimes people need a break or, or help, and it's okay to ask for help. And that's why when this content starts to get traction, in reference to what topic I'm passionate about. Because if you believe in something, and it's not about selling anything, you just have to believe in what you're doing, reading, saying. People can tell authenticity from shite in two seconds. I hope. And, you know, One, somebody told me once that I did one video about Lady Colin Campbell for clickbait, and I didn't. I stuck up for a book reader, which I shouldn't have, but that's how, you know. And I'm embarrassed about that video, but I, I'm keeping it up because that's who I am, and I tried to uh, reply back to people that did comment and apologize for being rude, you know, I wasn't being rude to them, I was just trying to explain what happened, because I felt like this person was being picked on by Lady C, but really, when I look back at the situation, Lady C wasn't trying to pick on, on her, and she didn't have to say anything, really, and it was just about the Diana book, it, not just, it was about Diana, her real story after she, what was that like? Anyway, it was about Diana after she passed, which I thought, writing about, lots of people write about those who have passed though, especially historical figures. And Lady C has, um, and I said this before, I'm such an admirer of her writing and the way in which she uses language. She presents herself like a lady, very um, stoic, and, and she knows a lot about the gender issues. So this was a mishmash of topics, but uh, tomorrow I, I'm getting into that Kennedy book, and, and you know, I might just get into the psychology of secrets because Andrew Gold deserves his best from me. So if there aren't views, on his book, it's my fault. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to start over. Not over, over. I'll summarize again, but I'm prepared now. I've learned a lot. So have the election, America. If you're Canadian, I'm, you know, really thirsty because, you know, marijuana is legal in Canada. So, no, I am not, some people say, oh, she looks baked. No, but I did smoke a little marriage, you wanna? Okay, have a great day.
November 5th, we'll see who wins and whoever wins affects Canada. What I was going to say about this channel is I said something about Trump and this, this channel that I've admired and loved said, if you think she thinks that and has proven in a lot of her videos that these elites are at the head of the, um, Um, you know, um, the, uh, just the, the algorithm, you know, that, you know, so I want to talk about that, but she thinks that voting for Camilla Harris's, um, the Democratic Party is leading, they're the lead cause of this which eat the babies, they're eating the cats, they're eating the dogs. Was he talking about people being hungry? I have stories for you, okay? So I have no idea why I did this video tonight, but I guess we'll see. All right. Oh, what else did I want to show you? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm okay. So as far as the singing and the dancing and everything, I set up the studio here. Okay. So this is where Sarah, my guitar is in the closet. So I'll do the singing here because I'm going to start practicing again. And when I do my, there's Sophia. And when I do my dances, I use a green screen in this room, okay? It's my makeup room. <laughs> there, I gave away my secrets. <gasps> that means nobody's gonna watch anymore. No, it's about participating. And also, there's a raffle. Um, so, probably by the end of November, it'll be, yeah, it'll be at the end of November, beginning of December, Christmas. I'm doing an Amazon raffle again. So, but the key, the key is, so let's say starting November the 6th, the new footage that I put out, the new footage that I put out from November the 6th till the end of November, let's settle it that way. Let's, I'm going to write this down and we're going to settle it this way. And I'm not going to make you sit through this. I don't know how to edit yet. I'd love to just run it through CapCut, but that seems so lazy. And people don't have patience and time for people to gobbledygook anymore, but I seem to have time for it. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to prepare from now on, period. And starting November the 6th of 2024, which is a uh, Wednesday, um... Every reading I put up from, this is where I need to learn how to edit. Every time I do a reading from Psychology of Seattle, I'm going to start November the 6th onward playlist. I'm cleaning it up. I'm cleaning up my channel. And starting from November 6th, anything that's put up, okay? And if I want to, to ask questions, for the raffle, it's about the raffle. If I, it's five questions about Andrew Gold. It's five questions about Maureen Callahan and Asnot. Five questions about the Johnny Depp trial, and five questions about Meghan Markle. But one of the questions about Meghan Markle that I think everybody should take a run at is how many lies do you think that she's told over the last uh, six years? If anybody can figure that out, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And I am going to read The Exorcism of Annalise Michael again. And I'm going to take another shot at the, test, the, the testaments for The Handmaid's Tale. And you know what else I have? Um, a beautiful friend, a beautiful friend gave me a Quran. I've never read the Quran before, and I thought that would be fascinating. So, 
yeah, this might be the channel for you. I love to talk about pop stuff too, like Michael Jackson, body language. I love to dance. I love to sing. I love to work out. And I really want to get healthy again. So maybe this will be the channel for you. And if it is, I hope you really come along for the ride because there are some very nice people here. Like, it doesn't honestly feel like my channel. There's 600 and I think 37 or 39 people on this channel, which they took time to ingratiate themselves and, and, and feel comfortable to watch and let me into their lives in a, in a way. And, 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 you know, communicate and co people comment on content and they get to know my dog and my mother and maybe it's too personal. I, I don't know. I don't know. And I started uh, another channel. I call it L and L soul sisters, but I changed it back to high voltage and through 306 people, they've not unsubscribed, which I'm so surprised. And somebody else joined the live, the Lasha Rajenko, my very first channel. Um, so I, in totality, there's 1,016 of us. So yeah, if you want to join, you have to type in Lasha Rajenko and join High Voltage. And um, yeah, I'd like to meet more people. And it's, it's, it's hard when you get older. And um, I want to share some stuff. And I'm not articulate tonight, and that's okay. All right, I'll let you get back to the election, Americans and Canadians. I'm really trying to do, I wanted to do something really good from something really bad. And we all go through good and bad. That's why I don't consider victim, survivor, labels. It's gotten too much. It's become too much. It's become too much. Okay. Have a good night, everybody, and um, anybody who has taken the time to watch this video in full and people who have returned to the channel, God bless you, and I mean that. And you know who you all are. Okay, bye. And welcome new people if you want to stay. Okay, bye.